Lettering is a special type of group. While lettering can't be ungrouped, when I right click on this lettering, notice that ungroup is grayed out, but lettering can be broken apart. You'll find break apart in the edit toolbox. Click on break apart and the lettering that was all one unit is now broken into lines. I can also select a line of lettering and click on break apart again. And now the individual words can be selected. If I select the word and click on break apart again, now the individual letters can be selected. And you'll see that the software still sees this as lettering. I can then make changes to the type of letter. And also I could increase the size of that letter. When I select the next line, this is still one unit. And if I want to change that type of lettering, I can select a new font and click on apply. If I select the third line of lettering and click on break apart, my two words are now selected. And if I want to further break apart the word, I can select the word, click on break apart, and then increase the size of just one letter. The last word, let's change the style of alphabet and click apply, and then change the size and click apply. So you can make your unique lettering styles using break apart. If I use break apart on an individual letter, it is no longer a letter, but is now a fill stitch. The only way to regroup it as a letter is to use undo.